Hey guys, um, finally got the UV light. So the pond is not green anymore. You can see the bot bottom and stuff. But um, when we get the white gravel for the bottom, you can see the fish even more. So I'll make a video when I get that. And when I plant all the plants, set up this really nice, I'll make another video. And um, look, hybrids swimming around. And the iridescent. In about five seconds, you'll see how the iridescent sharks eat. Um, they look kind of like prunes, but they're not. Put a little bit for now. Not sure if they'll eat all of it because I fed them a, a bit this morning. There's the iridescent. Right there. Too bad prunes get too big. I'll come over here. And the Oscars are doing pretty good. I'm not sure if they have eggs, but they're kind of protecting that corner. There's the Oscar. Oh, look. Hybrid. Just came up. Oh, I didn't find all that food there. So yeah, it's coming out pretty nice. Um, look, the hybrid's coming back up. What a fool. <laughs> yeah, so um, when, when I put everything inside the pond, get it all set up, and then um, I'll put Frank in here, and hopefully he'll start swimming around, eating pellets. Oop, the iridescent hybrid again. Ooh, fast. So yeah, we have a good circular motion in this pond. Um, we have that spraying that way. Then we have a hose underneath the spraying that way. Iridescent prune thing. It'd be pretty cool if they were prunes though. It'd be pretty cool if prunes only got like a foot long. I'll keep one in that tank, but sad. I'm not sure it's like kind of clear because the sun, ah, um, the sun makes it all glary and whatnot and stuff. And the, the, um, the hybrid started swimming around the rail plenty. Well, not like fast or anything, but just like cruising. So if you could see this hose underneath there pointing that way, and you could see the current there, the hybrid likes to um, swim against that. I'm not sure if you can see the fish better from here because it's not as glared. But yeah, basically all of them are schooling. And then hopefully when the cat, big catfish get bigger and stuff, the plan with all the tilapia, um, if we ever go away for like a month or two, um, so we could get our, our neighbor and stuff to feed them pellets, but the hybrid and the red tail need to be fed meat. And same with the paku sometimes. But um, yeah, so when they are away, um, the tilapia will probably breed and they could eat their babies and stuff. Um, that tilapia there right, right now um, has eggs. I have a tank in there and he has eggs. Well, she or he or whatever. That one coming up there has eggs. Um, yeah, I think that's all that I know of. And we have three koi in here. Um, they're all black and red. Those were actually meant to be tester fish, but then we couldn't catch them back out. Um, so, they're just here. And yeah, I'll tell you all the sizes of my fish. Um, Frank is about 12, maybe 13 inches. The Paku, the biggest one's 14, and the smaller one is 11 and a half. I think, 11 and a half to 12. I'm not sure. Um, the small iridescent is 13, the bigger one is 14 and a half. Um, the hybrid I think is 14 inches. And yeah, I don't know the tilapia or anything, I don't need to know that. So yeah. So, I 
have some plants in here, blah, blah, blah. And the UV is actually working pretty well the other day. You can see the bottom, it was just plain green. And that was about three days ago, and now it's clay all the way. So I'm just going to show you Frank right now. Um, he, he doesn't really do anything. Um, he just sits there, and then when it's feeding time, he kind of goes and turns around. And for some reason, if you stick the net in the water, he'll come and investigate it and bite it and stuff. It's kind of cool. Um, there he is. That's his head mix. That brick is 16 inches long. So if he would lie down next to that, it's really pretty big. But his head's pretty big. Let me see if I can. That's kind of my hand. Come on. Touched his whisker. There, there's his full body. Oh damn, come back. There we go. So he's, he's pretty deep down. And he's swimming. Good job. Oh, he's so cute. So he's pretty big. Nice to be petted. Pet. Whatever. He eats some of these whenever they come in the way. So yeah, he's pretty big, about 12 inches. Last time, when I now put him in here, it was about two weeks ago or so, and he was nine and a half inches. So he's probably 11 inches. Now it's probably three weeks ago, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, see that's a 16 inch brick. So there's about another, yeah, he's about maybe 11 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, maybe not all the way 12. So there's probably an next 5 inches there. So yeah, um, that's basically it. Goldfish, blah, blah, blah. Um, my tilapia, really big. Not that big, but. 13 inches. See, now they come up to eat it pretty slowly, not vicious as in before. But I find the iridescent rocks pretty cool. I would like a um, prune because they like, um, they eat other fish and they're not, they're kind of or whatever you want to call it. And there's the hybrid swimming against the current, there's the hose. Yeah, I'm kind of running out of battery and stuff there, so I'll end the video. Um.